next, it's a UFC women's flyweight division matchup. She's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym. And in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle. I don't want to do jiu-jitsu. I don't want to kick, box, and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Well, drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meeting, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 20 wins, 10 losses. She stands five feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Alexis Davis. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 10 wins, two losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Basilia Distrito Federal, Brazil. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. So here we go, as anticipated as any fight on this card tonight. The well-rounded fighter versus the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt that we see coming up. This fight can go two ways. This can look ugly for the Jiu-Jitsu fighter. She can be forced to stand. She's in a lot of trouble. She needs to take this fight to the ground as soon as she can in order to win the fight. Davis gets caught with that punch. Connects with a right. Well, she talked a lot about the path of least resistance being the clinch, and she clinches here early. And watch for her to start to mix in that great judo background that we've seen her do on so many different occasions. Real quick leg kick. Throws the right hand there. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Straight right hand, unable to connect. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Davis. Big double leg. Potentially a critical takedown here. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Nice punch land over the top. Nice body to run up the over. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. Just over three minutes now to go. Beautiful body. He lands right under the elbow. 
lands the right hand. You got the turtle in that kick. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Big body kick. It's a nice back and forth action here. So again, they will clinch here. What a punch. Davis's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Able to check the high kick. Try to establish that jab. Right up the elbow, the body kick land. Again, back into this position. Takedown here, that could be big. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Davis is looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Oh, that's a nice job by her there to reverse the position. On the she was in trouble. Now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position very quickly. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she spent a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Alexis Davis. Man, she's got a pretty good left hand. Went to it there. She's a right-handed fighter, but the left side has become just as good as the right side. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish. Here. She's looking for the finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot at the top. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Davis's submission game is underrated. She goes for the triangle here. Oh, nice. And this might just be a matter of time. Now we'll see if she can dole out some damage. A lot of fighters would prefer the half guard. She does pretty good work. Here. She does great work in the half guard. She's very brutal. She's very heavy with her top half. So she doesn't worry about the opponent escaping. And this side control is very good for her because she wants to wear on you. She wants you to try to carry all of her weight with your upper body and make a mistake that will lead to a fight ending finish for her. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They beat in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Nice head kick. Oh, big punch land. More clinches. Hook landed on the button. Real sneaky body kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. All right, so there's that kick to the leg, and you can be sure she's going to go back to the well with that. She's beating up that lead leg, dominating it, slowing down her opponent. Look for her to continue doing that same technique. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. She was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Nice kick. 
Davis's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Takedown defense holds up. Very nice leg kick there by Davis. Big clutch land for the middle. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. Ty clinch for her here. We'll see what she can do with it. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight. Not on that attempt. Nice leg kick. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Oh, I thought she was going to get tagged there. Instead, slips her head off the center line. Man, those boxing chops paying dividends for her time. In the very last moment, she just makes a slight movement, and her opponent misses and finds herself in the middle of that position. Right hand punch in the clinch. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? That was an issue. Nice strike. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, she's got the right hand going tonight, DC. She's in a great flow of scrolling from her dominant side to land that great strike. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Back and forth we go here. Nice punch by Davis. Beautiful leg kick throw. Well, she's showing you her full striking development here as she goes to that left hand. She's showing that she can do everything tonight in the octagon. Straight right hand, but she misses. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Again, back into this position. Just missed with the left there. Good punch, Lance. Oh, she is as relentless as any striker on this roster. Man or woman, eternally aggressive with her strikes. Got to be careful, of course, not to gas out. But so far, so good for her here in this round. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so what a round it was, DC. Take us through some of the highlights. Got to think her kicking game is going to be featured prominently here. She did decent work with the hands, but the kicking game was the thing that truly separated her from her opponent. She was landing kick after kick and truly slowing down her opponent in that round. All right, here we go with our next round. I know you said off the top she might have the best kicking game in this division, and if the previous round is any indication, those words, I think, are pretty true. John, honestly, watching after that round, it feels like she may have the best kicking game in the whole UFC. Wow. Because her opponent has not been able to see or stop any of them. Why would she not continue down this path? Oh, there's the swing, and there's the miss by Alexis Davis. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here. There are so many options 
to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Ooh, what a punch. Now she's got the Muay Thai club. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch. What a big time thing, though. Back to the feet now. Oh, that's a hell of a kick by her there. We'll see if she can follow it up now, champ. Great job landing that kick. Very nice leg kick there by Alexis Davis. Oh, she continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Great punch landing with so much power. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? Whiffs on the right hand. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. And now they are from. Oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautiful. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Davis's pass is denied. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it here. She does a really good job of throwing punches to the kid. She never just throws just to be throwing. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Alexis Davis. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she spent a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Oh, and she gives up her back here, DC. Not ideal. Not ideal. It's not ideal, but in this state, it's desperation a little bit. She's been getting battered. She's been getting bruised. She was mounted. What was she going to do? Stay on the bottom getting mounted and beat up? Or was she going to try to give her back to get to her feet? Now the journey, now the fight has really just begun because she has one of the best jiu-jitsu players in the entire world on her back. All right to the mount. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and pound. All right, so the fighters go to this. It's a pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her, and you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that strike to win a pretty easy decision. The official decision is Ladies in. Bruce Buffer has it. Three rounds. We go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. All three judges for the contest. 30-27. Playing the winner by unanimous decision. Viviana Vivi Araujo. All right, so the judges.
Judges are unanimous in their decision. She gets it done tonight. Big tests lie ahead. Tonight, she passed this one. You knew right away that this would be her toughest fight, and it showed itself in the octagon. Her opponent is a very skilled fighter, so the finish did not present itself. So with